Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is the Tempered Wolf and today I'm bringing you guys a awesome video, another great video. So I've been appreciating all this recent support I've been getting on my videos. My Our channel is growing so fast. We're expanding the wolf pack day by day and I, I am, it's just so exciting and I love, love seeing new people. So invite your friends, definitely tell them to come over to my channel so we can grow the wolf pack, you know. So anyways, let's get right into the video here at hand. So today we are talking about another DLC map in Treyarch's recent unveiling of the Eclipse DLC, DLC number two for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And today they posted on Call of Duty's website another slideshow comparison. And as you guys know, I have already done the two other DLC maps in this game so far. I have done the map Rift and I have done the map Verge. Those were the first two DLC maps I did for the Eclipse. This is the third one. We are doing Spire. We are over halfway done now with completely doing an analysis of all the new DLC maps. So I promise you guys, by the end of this series, at the end of this four video series, you will be an expert on the Eclipse DLC. So let's get straight into the commentary. And the very first thing I noticed about this map, right when I saw this map is, man, that looks like a Black Ops 2 map. I was like, man, th there was some DLC map that looked almost exactly similar. I couldn't pinpoint what it was at first. But then I finally saw that this is exactly the same as one of Black Ops 2 DLC maps. I'll be putting that image on screen right now. That DLC map is Vertigo. That was from the second DLC. Kind of ironic. But the second DLC for Black Ops 2. And obviously you can see that image there. That they look very, very, very similar. Which gives me... I, I don't know. You, you really could argue that that's a copy and paste map. But... Anyways, that's how I think about this map. Spire is definitely a different kind of map, that's for sure. But I do think it looks very similar to Vertigo. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you agree with me or do you not? Just tell me what you guys feel. But another thing I want to say about this map is it looks very bright. <laughs> like, if you see this map, it's all white, all bright colors. I mean, it's very, very cool. Do not get me wrong, but there are very bright colors in this game. So, it's gonna, to me, I would think that the specialist characters are gonna be sticking out a lot. Like, like for me, all, it seems like all the specialists are kind of in, are mostly in camouflage and stuff, and they have darker appearances, you know? And now with this bright map, you think it's gonna be really, really easy to find enemies and very difficult to camouflage yourself so i have no idea how this is exactly going to play out but it's definitely interesting to see how this map is going to go but i really like it. it it really seems like a really cool map just from looking at it and looking at the different like spots of the map it, it looks very good i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what treyarch says about the spire dlc map they say watch your step spire brings the fright into the clouds in a futuristic suborbital airport terminal complete with multi-levels in a sleek streamlined design which i can agree it looks it looks like at first i thought i i thought it looked like terminal to me but as you can see it's very it's like a building almost more it is a terminal but it looks like more of a skyscraper than anything very very futuristic at that and i will be putting that video that slideshow thing that Treyarch posted today on, on call of duty's youtube channel and you can just see the different angles and different views of this map and it looks there looks like a bunch of different like alleyways a bunch of it, it can be close quarters so i it looks to me that you can use a submachine gun or an assault rifle and they will do just fine but I would, I would almost say SMGs are the way to go because it looks like it's very tight. Now, it may not be a close quarters map, but it looks like it's very, they're very tight in confined spaces at certain points. And you could take advantage of those. And I am absolutely sure you could do fine with any submachine gun on this map. Of course, the Vesper, of course. No one messes with that anyways, so why even talk about that? It's a crap gun, but... Yeah, there's a bunch of different angles, and, uh, like, the angles look, like I said, they're very, very narrow, and there's just lots of alleyways, so I definitely think you guys should take advantage of that, and there, there is a middle, a central middle position that is very, very open, which I probably wouldn't recommend you going into, because that's, like, the most vulnerable spot you can be on the map, so that is pretty much all I can gather so far from this map. To me, the thing you want to keep in mind, like any other Call of Duty map, stick to the outside watch your corners listen to captain price watch your corners it's one of the best 
best tips I can ever give you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching this video on the map Spire, the new DLC map in the Eclipse DLC. I appreciate you guys watching this video, and that is all I have for you guys. My name is the Tempered Wolf, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.